pray. Let's lift up the name of our God. Let's call upon him. He who is mighty, who is merciful, he who is gracious and kind to us. May we call upon his name this evening in the mighty name of Jesus. Mandola Bashata Kadabaka Shoto Robo Kapayantela Yabaraka Yadabashata Kabarabasata Rabaha. Give God the praise, give God the glory, give Him honor, adore Him, glorify His holy name tonight. Let His name be lifted up in the courts of your homes, in the courts of your homes, at your workplaces and in the auditoriums, wherever you are, in your cars. Glorify His name. Lift his name on high, make some joyful noise unto our God, the great I am, the worthy one, one worthy of our praise, one worthy of our song, one worthy of our shout, one worthy of our glorification tonight. Glorify his holy name, lift his holy name on high, declare that he is God. Give him the glory, give him the glory, give him the glory, give him the honor that is due his holy name. He's well declared that in him we move and live and have our being. Oh, but of ourselves, we can do nothing. But with him, with him, all things are possible. It is by his grace, it is by his mercy, it is by his favor, it is by his goodwill that we have gone about our chores and we have come back uh, safely. It is the glory of the Lord that he has bestowed upon us. Bless his holy name. Lift his holy name on high. Tonight, as we gather uh, in this auditorium and in the spaces of your homes, uh, oh, know that the presence of the Lord is with you. Know that the presence of the Lord is with you. And give him honor as a result of that. Yes, we lift your name on high. We worship you, Lord. We glorify you, Lord. We honor you, blessed Father. Yandala baka sata kabayandelia. Yendolo boka pasata kabayandelia. Yendolo boka pasata kabayandelia. Mandolo boka pasata kada bahandelia. Mazendele baka taka dolo bosata rabaha. Glorify the name of our King. Lift His name on high. Worship Him in the sanctuary. Worship Him in your homes. Lama handele bosata rabaha. Libayandele bahandala baka taka rabaha. Bosata kada baba baba kabayandelia. Mayandolo bo shata na 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 bakata na bakendelia. Yendolo bo kapayanda na bakata na baha. Lobo shata na bakabayandelia. Yes, 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 yes. He's worthy. He's worthy. He's worthy. He's worthy. Yes, he's the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Yes, 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 yes.
have victory and continue to have victory even to the glory of your holy name we give you praise and we give you glory and everyone will say amen and amen and amen oh hallelujah we want to pray shortly but i'd like to share with you a word that i have entitled let it be to you as you desire let it be as you desire let it be to you now these are not my words this is a, a statement that jesus made that we are going to find out shortly now what that means is that if you position yourself well you can have whatsoever you desire that is what jesus said that's what Jesus said. He said, let it be to you as you desire, let it be to you. And so it is possible, people of God, it is possible to have that which you desire. But it does not just come. Oh, hallelujah. It doesn't just happen. And that's why we are here tonight. And that's why we need to lift up our voices. Because prayer, like I keep saying, is the only legitimate and authentic means by which you and I can touch heaven to intervene in our affairs. That is what God has sanctioned. And there's nothing like I've prayed too much. There's nothing like I prayed yesterday. There's nothing like I prayed the whole week the prayer must be consistent and it must be all the time at every time Jesus said that men ought to pray always and not to faint oh hallelujah and so when you bring yourself to this place and you uh, you speak the language of faith and you act in faith and you believe God, you will have whatsoever that you desire. When you persist and you keep on keeping on and you don't give up and you don't doubt and you believe God, look, you will have whatsoever that you desire because the word of God is true. Everything God has written, everything God has said is true, people of God. Everything God has spoken is true. You may not have experienced it yet, but tonight I came to announce to you Amen. that you can have it. Amen. Once you position yourself, once you believe Him, once you persist and you remain consistent and hold on to the word of the Lord and act according as God intends for you, you shall have that which you desire. Amen. Oh, glory to Amen. God. Oh, hallelujah. Now, let's look into the, the word of God. In Mark chapter 11, Jesus shared a very unique experience with the disciples and I believe that this was intentionally created by the master it was intentionally staged by him so that he can communicate the truth of the word of God unto us and I believe that God is bringing that unto you tonight in case you have forgotten God is bringing that word unto you. Now in Mark chapter 11 from the verse 22 to 24. Now if you're a very good Bible student, I'm sure you know the story about uh, the story about the, the cursed tree, the, the nim, uh, I'm sorry, the fig tree that was cursed. You know I was going to say a nim tree, a nim tree. The fig tree that was cursed. Hallelujah. The Bible says that Jesus spoke to that fig tree because that fig tree was unfruitful. Jesus was hungry and so when he got closer and there was no fruit on that, even though according to, according to the season, it was not yet the, the season for the nim tree. Uh, sorry, the nim tree, the fig tree, the nim tree, the fig tree. Hallelujah. It was not yet the season of the fig tree Jesus spoke. He said, you shall not bear fruit again. And so Jesus went away with the disciples. And on their return, Peter observed that the, 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 the fig tree that was spoken to, that uh, Peter termed it, that was cursed, has withered. In fact, it was, it was gone away. And so 
Peter was startled. He was he was amazed. And so, Master, Master, look, look, the the the, the fig tree that you cast is gone, is withered, and it doesn't exist. And this is the answer that Jesus gave them. Jesus said to the disciples, He said, and Jesus answering said unto them, Have faith in God. Oh, I'm speaking to somebody tonight. I say, have faith in God. I say have faith in God. Amen. I say have faith in God. Amen. I don't know what you are feeling now. And I don't know how your situation has been in the week. I don't know what you are going through now. I don't know what has happened to you now. But I came with a sure word from the Lord. And it is just simple. Have faith in God. Amen. Jesus spoke to the people. Jesus, see Peter asked him a question. And Jesus answered with a strange he, he answer. He said the name tree, the, the fig tree that you curse has, has withered. And Jesus said, have faith in God. As if Jesus was saying that look, if you have faith in God, you can also speak to that fig tree and that fig tree will wither. That's exactly what Jesus was trying to communicate. Oh, hallelujah. So he said, have faith in God for verily I, oh glory to God Jesus is speaking here if you have a good uh, a, a Bible you find out this is a red lettered uh, a written it's written in red he said for verily I say unto you oh hallelujah now that what whatsoever shall say unto this mountain be thou removed and be thou cast into the sea. Oh, glory to God. But then he brings a caveat here and said, And shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that, shall believe those things which he saith shall come to pass. And he or she and whoever shall have whatsoever he saith. Oh, is somebody hearing me tonight? I tell you, you're about to enter into a new threshold tonight. If you're going to connect and believe God tonight. Because Jesus said that if only you can speak and do not doubt in your heart and believe that whatsoever that you say it shall come to pass now he didn't end there now listen to what he said in verse 24 then he said therefore based on the principle that I have established believing and not doubting therefore I say unto you that what things soever you desire I don't know what your desires are tonight but I believe that there, there is a power that can translate that desire into reality. Is somebody hearing me tonight? I don't know what you have come tonight. I don't know what you have been looking for. What you have been waiting on the Lord for. What you have been looking forward for the Lord to do. But Jesus said that uh, if only you can speak it, if only you desire for it and you have faith and you do not doubt in your heart, you shall have what Whatsoever that you desire. And then he said, when you pray, I thank God that we are about to pray tonight. Oh, hallelujah. Then he said, when ye pray, when you pray, when you pray, when you pray, just like we are about to do, he said that believe that you receive them when you pray. Believe that whatsoever you present as petitions to the Lord, you have it. I, I tell you, this is very, very powerful. Jesus is speaking here. Jesus said that when you pray, believe that you have, you have that which you have not seen. He said, have it. What is that? That is faith. He said, when you pray, believe that you have it and you shall have it. I love this one. Hallelujah. 
He said that when you pray, believe that you have it. I'm praying about this, right? It is not here. But Jesus said that once you have prayed, believe that you have it. How, how do you behave or how do you ask that you have it? How do you do it? You, you, you handle it as if you have it. Jesus said that believe that you have it and you will have it. Believe that you have it and you will have it. Believe that you have the thing and you will have it. How do you show what indicates that you believe it? You believe it because you act it. You believe it because you don't doubt it. You believe it because you want to live it. You believe it because you want to be conscious all the time and know that you have it. And you confess and you declare it. You know that you have it. Jesus says that when you do that, you will eventually have it. That is a principle of faith. He said, when you pray, when you ask, believe that you have it and you shall have it. That is, what that means is that your mind must consistently believe your spirit, your heart, everything within you must believe that you have it. Oh, is somebody, am I communicating tonight? Believe that you have it. And we are going to see an example very soon. Jesus said, believe that you have it and you have it. Oh, hallelujah. Now, do not give up hope yet because the Lord is just watching and see how far you are prepared to go. Are you just waiting for your breakthrough and just turn away? Are you just waiting for the Lord to answer your prayer and just say goodbye? Are you just waiting for the Lord to give you everything and no? Because that relationship is far beyond just uh, giving and receiving. Are you hearing me? God is interested in going extra mile with you because he is absolutely interested in your soul, your eternal soul. So don't give up yet. You may not have seen it today, but don't give up yet. Oh, you didn't hear me. I said, you may not have seen it today, but I came to tell you, don't give up yet. You may not have experienced it, but I came to announce to you that don't give up yet because he's watching over his word to perform it. Is somebody hearing me? Because I've never seen the word of God fail before and it cannot fail you. Am I speaking to somebody tonight? I say it cannot fail you. It does not matter how many times you have tried that word is yea and amen when that word is spoken nothing can stop it and when the season arrives that word can come to pass nothing can stop that word and so my brother or my sister that you are hearing me tonight I came to announce to you that hold on and don't give up yet I said hold on tonight and don't give up yet because so Soon and very soon you shall see God oh, hallelujah now let's look at a very interesting story that occurred in Matthew chapter 15 and right after this we'll begin to pray in Matthew chapter 15 the verse 21 to 28 and I want you to come with me a very interesting and unique situation that Jesus used to bring home a principle, a message, an attitude that you and I need to carry when we come into his presence. Now, in Matthew chapter 15, the verse 21 to 28, the Bible says that when Jesus went out from there and departed to a region of Tyre and Sidon, now Jesus came into the region of of the Gentiles. He left the Jewish city and now he was in, uh, in Thai and Sidon. You know, this were, if you, you, you study Bible, Thai and Sidon were one of those craziest, I mean, they, they were people that anti God. They, 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 they were cursed. They were people that were cursed. Hallelujah. So the Bible says that when he stepped into that city, behold, as always, a woman of Canaan came from that region and cried out to him, saying, 
Now guess what is going to happen here? He said, have mercy on me, O Lord, son of David. Then he said, my daughter is severely demon possessed. Now this woman was in a very difficult situation. Her daughter was demon possessed. And there's none other that can deliver her than the man Jesus. Our Lord Jesus. Because he has power over all. Oh, hallelujah. And so this woman approached him. But something very unusual happened. Very, very, very unusual. The Bible says that, but he answered her not a word. That is not very much like Jesus. But when this woman asked her, this is what the Bible says that Jesus never said a word. And then the disciples were observing the scene. And so they, the Bible said, and his disciples came and urged him saying, send her away for she cries out after us. So this gives me the impression or uh, uh, gives us the understanding that this woman was not just asking that she was just bothering the master. Oh, is somebody hearing me? She was just bothering the master and when she asked her, as asked him, the Bible says that he never said a word but she kept asking and she kept bothering and so you know Peter and his friends said look we have to deliver our master from this torment but here what happened from here but he answered and said now Jesus is speaking now he said he said I was not sent except to the lordship of the house of Israel and this is the reason why I have not said anything mama even though you have been pushing and asking the original people must chop before you your turn comes so if you can wait probably a couple of days I may attend unto you so then he said then now she got Jesus' attention so then she said then she came and worshipped him saying Lord help me so now her attempt with aggression and persistence and all other things fail and now she decided to worship the master or oh, is somebody here tonight she decided to worship the master she decided to bow she said look i'm not going to ask again but this time i just want to worship you I just want to connect with you and I pray for you tonight that you pick up that attitude tonight that you will just connect with the Lord. You are not just here asking but you want to love on him. You want to just love the Lord. So the Bible says that she, she worshipped the Lord. She worshipped the Lord. Oh hallelujah. And then now she got that attention of them but he, Jesus now said it is not good to take the children's bread and throw it to the little dogs. So now she got Jesus' attention by worshiping him. Oh, hallelujah. By bowing down to him. By just rolling on the ground. Now she got, he said, okay, now let me just tell you why. It is not appropriate to take the bread of the children and give it to the dogs. And that was too serious a word that Jesus gave that woman. Now listen to what she also said. And she said, yes. What you are saying is true, master. I cannot argue with you. But Lord, yet, even the little dogs, they eat the crumbs which fall from the master's table. That's a desperate woman. Oh, is somebody desperate tonight? You see, sometimes we are not desperate enough. We pretend that we are, but we are not. And this is a real desperate woman. In today, if Jesus has spoken this to somebody, I'm sure that person would have rained insult at him. Who are you to tell me that I am a dog? 
Are you hearing me? And so this woman said, okay, what you're saying is true. But at least when he falls from the table, I can also have mine and that's what I am here for but I came to announce to you that you deserve more than crumbs I say you deserve more than crumbs I say you deserve more than crumbs is somebody ready tonight I say you deserve more than crumbs oh hallelujah now hear what Jesus said when the woman said this and then Jesus answered and said to her oh woman oh woman oh woman you know she wowed Jesus he said, oh woman, oh, I, oh come on, I have been doing this for some time now, but I have never seen anything like this. I said, I've been going around for some time now, but I have never seen anything like this. He said, oh woman, great is your faith, and let it be to you, oh glory to God, let it be to you as you desire and that is the title of the message let it be to you because you have exhibited that kind of faith that I have never seen anywhere and you are telling me that you are ready you are telling me that you can persist you are telling me that you can speak the language of faith you are telling me that you are around to stay for longer you are not just here for your miracles is somebody hearing me he said I have never seen such a thing before and for this reason let it be unto you according to whatsoever you desire Jesus gave a blank check to the woman he said whatsoever you desire it shall come to pass is somebody ready tonight whatsoever you desire if only you believe and not doubt you shall have whatsoever you desire Oh, hallelujah. Amen. Now, watch what happens. Amazing. Amazing. I tell you that same power is present here tonight. Amen. And that same power is present wherever you are. Because there's no distance in the spirit. Now, the Bible says that and her daughter was healed from all oh, my goodness my goodness he said from that hour from that moment from that hour you see as soon as the master spoke oh is somebody ready tonight come on rise up with me wherever you are as soon as the master spoke something happened as soon as Jesus spoke something happened is somebody hearing me tonight the Bible says that as soon as Jesus was done speaking that moment Met that hour immediately her daughter was healed glory to God oh hallelujah her daughter was healed oh hallelujah this woman was persistent and willing to do any and everything to get the attention of Jesus what are you prepared to do tonight don't just tell me do it what are you prepared to do tonight don't tell me just do it just do it tonight because the master is right here the master is right here the Jesus of Nazareth is walking this way the same power is present tonight in the name of Jesus if that comes believe all things are possible if only you will not give up tonight the master will reach out to you in the name of Jesus we want to take a song we want to take a song we want to bring worship unto him just like the woman did we want to just bow and then we'll begin to be thinking. Is somebody hearing me tonight? Just to come back to Katoria Nadaba. Oh, come on, wherever you are. You want to worship him. You just want to worship the master. You want to worship him tonight. You want to worship him tonight.
Maseria Lena Ba, Yampada Katuria Ba, Maseria Lena Ba, Yampada 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 Whatsoever you desire, if only you will believe tonight, the Lord shall establish. He said that if only you will believe and will not doubt in your heart, you shall have whatsoever that you desire. Lord, we thank you that your word is true. We thank you that you are watching over your word to perform it. We thank you, oh God, that your word is forever settled in heaven. And that which you have spoken is final concerning our life. We give you praise and we give you glory in Jesus' name. And can I hear amen? Amen. Amen and amen. God bless you. Amen for joining us tonight and we are coming back here on Sunday at 11 a.m. and we want to encourage you to be part of our services and we trust that your life will never be the same again. Shall we share the grace tonight? May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore in Jesus name surely goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives and we shall dwell even in the house of the Lord forever and ever in Jesus name amen and amen God bless you